I'm honored to have been elected by my peers on the Board of Regents to support the University System of Maryland. On Wednesday, board members elected Linda Gooden as their new chairperson. Former Chair James Brady resigned last week after backlash over the handling of two independent investigations. One, looking into the culture of the football program. The other, investigating the death of sophomore football player Jordan McNair. University President Wallace Lowe, who will retire in June, fired head football coach DJ Durkin after the board recommended keeping Durkin and athletic director Damon Evans. While the board's decision was far from unanimous and many members voted a different way, everyone on the board now understands that the board's recommendation was wrong. Gooden apologized to Marylanders, to the university community, and to the McNair family. Senate President Mike Miller said as the university seeks new football coaches and a new university president, they, along with board members, should have these requirements. Take a, a three-credit course in College Park, how to, how to manage a crisis, because they've all failed. The University of Maryland College Park has gone through five months of hell that could have been avoided, should have been avoided. Governor Larry Hogan touted Gooden's extensive private sector management experience, saying she is, quote, well positioned to be a leader in the university system's work to rebuild trust with students, parents, and faculty at this critical time. Gooden has served on the Board of Regents for nine years. She says her focus is on students and their education. Under my leadership, this board will accomplish that goal by recommitting to the principle of shared governance. I reached out to the attorneys for the McNair family to get their response on this. They have not yet returned our calls. Reporting live tonight in downtown Baltimore, Karen Campbell, WBAL-TV 11 News.